What's up, Taurus? This is Jesse with 44 Astro with a general tarot reading uh, for the full moon coming up in Taurus. It's going to be at 5 degrees Taurus. It's going to be at 4.24 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it's going to be on October 28th. It will be a hunter's moon, which just means it's the first uh, full moon of the harvest season. Um, for you, it's going to be in either your first or your twelfth house. Um, first or twelfth house is going to be the house of self, kind of probably the way you think and feel about yourself internally, as far as the moon being there. It's going to be, you know, conjunct Jupiter, so it's going to be kind of an expansion of your internal world, and how you feel. Twelfth house is, you know, that's could be travel, uh, foreign lands, could be secret enemies you might learn about, that type of thing. Um, could be loss of some sort, um, something inside that you're a feeling loss of, that type of thing. Kind of, kind of confusing, dreamy energy. Dreams could be really um, vivid. I mean, we'll be in the third mansion of the moon, Al Thuraya. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Um, it's called the Swarm. You can read about it. I'll put a picture up of it. Um, it's good for commerce, for gain, that type of thing. It's not really good for uh, getting into a new, new relationship or anything like that, but you can read about it. Um, the moon will be opposite the sun, so there could be something coming to light. Um, patience. Looking like patience might be the key here. Um, it's been a while since I did a video. Ooh, I'm gonna jump. Over. These two jump right out. Um, I had to go to Seattle teach a class on psychology. Um, then I caught COVID, so it's been a while since I've been able to make any videos yet. Your plans, our adjustments are required, so there's some kind of change that needs to happen, and your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. And this is a full moon in Taurus, and you're the sign of Taurus. So you're going to have to make a practical plan. There's going to have to be some kind of change in whatever this is that you're trying to uh, accomplish here. The current situation or the current uh, path that you're on or the current question, it's all mental energy and work, it looks like, because you got the King of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. It looks like it has something to do with a project that you're working on. There's something that you're going to have to change in this project, though. You could, you, you could be working with a, a air sign. You could have air in your chart. Looks like there's some kind of, you're asking about clarity in the situation. So it could be that you're asking about clarity, you're working with a partner on this. Um, whatever you're working on, your work, it looks like you're working with someone. Unless that, of course, is you. If you have, uh, um, maybe your cusp, Gemini, it's possible. So it could be you and it could be the way you're looking at it. You're trying to get a clear, true vision of this project that you're trying to make. I'm not sure exactly what this project is. Could be something with social media. Nowadays, most things are. Could just be that it's a project at work, whatever you do for work, whatever your vocation is. The current path, again, you're moving forward. It's, it's, this must be an idea that you have that you're trying to get off the ground. Could be that you have, you're an entrepreneur. You have some kind of new um, idea or project or an innovation for something. But it looks like there's some fighting going on. It looks like there's a lot of hard work involved and there's a lot of... Um, could be these, these could be the people you work with. And you, you know, you're charging headlong forward in this idea or you know, this way that you want to do this. And people are giving you static, are trying to are squabbling about how it needs to be done, or maybe they're squabbling about the details or who wants to delegate what to who, that type of thing. And it's a lot of work for you. Maybe you are the boss. Wouldn't surprise me. Taurus does represent that kind of thing. Um this is the other path, and you know some Tauruses could be on this path, some could be on this path, and some may have a choice. Okay, it looks like it's the people you work with for sure, because there's a lot of people in here. You got the Knight of Wands, you got the Seven of Swords, and you got the Queen of Cups. You feel like maybe that someone is um, being sneaky at work, or you feel like maybe they're trying to sabotage you, or in some way, like maybe they're jealous of what this idea is. And either they want credit for it kind of thing, or they can't get credit for it, so they're trying to, uh, or you feel like they're trying to sink it, or it could be that you're trying to be strategic about uh, around these two people. It could be a water sign female. Um, it could be the water sign female could be you, or male if you know you have water in your chart. Knight of Wands if you have you know cusp Aries or something like that it could be you, but it looks like it looks like it's people that you're working with specifically, or friends, something like this. People you work with are friends. And you feel like something is, somebody's not telling the truth, somebody's being sneaky, this type of thing. It could be, see, he's looking back at 
the Knight of Rods here. He's look as he's taking him swords. He's looking back at the Knight of Rods, right? So like he's ta it's like he's taking something from the Knight of Rods. He's making sure he ain't following him, and he is following him, and trying to sneak him over here to the Queen of Cups. Sounds seems like some sneaky uh, backhanded type situation going on. And I'm not sure the Queen of Cups even knows, but it, whoever this individual is in the middle here is uh, causing some issues or, or trying to, or you feel that they are. He's trying to take, it looks like he's trying to take the passion from this individual, like the idea. So you might want to be careful with that. Whatever your idea is or what you're working on, don't let anybody uh, uh, try to take credit for it kind of thing. And it looks like they're taking him swords. Maybe, maybe your boss is a water sign. Or something like that. Could be something at school with a teacher, like your project, and they're trying to take uh, from your 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 ideas. Um, this is the advice. It's saying nurture what you have. You need to be patient. Look within, because it says there are these adjustments that needs to be made. It needs to be a practical plan, and that's what you know. That's what this that's what this could be, right? This is a new idea or or a new thought or a way of doing something. Moving in quickly. This is saying you have to nurture it. Take good care of it, and it could definitely be you. And it's saying, you know, you're going to have to look within. You, the wisdom is there. Like, clear yourself. Open up. Clear yourself. Meditate. Those types of things. Don't attach to it so much, and you'll be surprised if you release, kind of let things flow, how the, the, the answer will kind of reveal itself. Almost always how it works. But when we cling so tight and we're trying to control it, we're just going to see... We're just going to see resistance because that's what we're creating with all that tension. And I'm as guilty of it as anyone. This is the outcome. The outcome looks good. You know, you have the world, the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, this, you know, completion. Looks like that might be you, that Queen. You might have fire in your chart, Cusperi, something like that. Or it's just you sitting on the throne, have accomplished what you wanted. Something of value that you can offer the world. I mean, it looks like there's a lot of people involved. I mean, even the outcome. It's like they're squabbling over here. There's someone being strategic with this, this uh, maybe this fire sign male or fiery male and this uh, watery female. But down here, there's like a fire sign female and a knight of pentacles that are good. Like They're going to be, these two individuals are going to help you. So I think that's what the adjustments are. Maybe the people that you're working with now or you need to delegate or relegate whatever they're doing to these people because these these two are most likely going to help you accomplish what you need to do. It may be slow moving progress, but it's going to happen. Looks like there's just a lot of bickering <coughs> and, squ and squabbling. Pardon me. There's a lot of hard work, feeling overworked type of thing. But you're going to have to make a you're going to have to make an adjustment. It says adjustments are required. And that your dreams need a practical plan. So whatever this is that you're trying to create, you need to get you need to get yourself surrounded by the right people. You know that that saying they always say. You know, if you hang around four millionaires, you're going to be the fifth one. I mean, it's important that you know who you're hanging around with. Like if they're not if they're not in some way inspiring you or learning, or you're you're not learning. I mean, you learn from everyone you meet, right? And they learn from you regardless. But you know, you don't want to be if you're hanging around a bunch of crackheads, you're probably going to end up being a crackhead. If you hang around a bunch of People that are depressed and sad, you're probably going to be the next depressed and sad person. Or you're at least going to think about those things more often. You, you, you need to be careful who you surround yourself with. We all do. It's just the way it works. So choose wisely the people you surround yourself with. And I think that's what the adjustments are, are saying. It's like whoever your social group is right now, they're not benefiting you on your ideas. Like if you're sitting there talking about the future and all these new ideas and they're just, you know, wanting to sit in the old same pattern and you're, you're wanting new changes and new ideas, new people. You need to find people that are, that are in alignment with that. And you'd be surprised how things start moving. All right, let's see here. A little bit of clarity here. Yeah, there's some kind of squabbling here. You know, it's the Five of Swords in this deck is called Defeat, but, you know, it's with this five right here. And fives are change. So it's like you're feeling defeated right now kind of thing. Are you feeling like stuck, might be? Science is breaking things down. I mean, in the traditional deck, it's, it's travel, you know. But in this deck, it's science, which is breaking things down to understand them. Then you have abundance. 
So you really, it's, it's just saying like pay attention to the details. Really break it down, make a step-by-step -step plan. It's a good time to do it. This moon, I mean, even if it's in your 12th house, it's still in a good mansion for, for, for acquisition and gain. Nope. There's some kind of transformation has to happen. The death of something. Yeah, I, I think you're going to have to... I think on this path, if you're hanging around with two specific people, two friends or two co-workers type of thing, um, they're not they're they're not going to benefit you a lot because this looks like something new that's a death or transformation and this is saying you know focus on what you're passionate about it's a, it, do something new right this is you know transformation new ace of rods you know the death card transformation it's like you might have to change who you surround who you're uh, or change who you're surrounding yourself with i mean you have the prince of rods some kind of fire sign looks like um Unless the fire sign is you, but you're gonna have to make a, you're gonna have to make a change, for sure. Ooh, I didn't want to go. So. I mean, the outcome looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, with this love card here and the Ace of Cups, I mean, it's 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 a new relationship of some sort. It could be a new romantic relationship, even. It may be that when you surround yourself with these new people. Or maybe, I mean, the question seems to be around specifically um, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Like, but it seems like it's a business partner. But I don't know. This is you know great strength. Nine Nine of Rods is the Lord of Great Strength, and you got the Lord of Love with the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So whatever this outcome, yeah, whoever these two people are, this could be. I mean, this could be you with someone. Knight of Pentacles could be you. Queen of Rods could be as well, um, could be that you find a new relationship. If you're looking for a new relationship, period, um, it could be what it is. It's saying your dreams need a practical plan, so if your plan is to find new love, <coughs> that is the outcome. But it could just be very much be that you end up loving what you do. Like, when you find these people, this Queen of Wands and this Knight of Pentacle, or you become like this, these two in co combination, someone who's very... Uh, passionate and, and, you know, like Leo type energy or even Aries type energy type thing, that leadership in your face type energy, whilst also having something of value to give the world that your, your cup overfloweth. And that's what it looks like. It looks like the cup's going to overflow, but you have to make an adjustment. You have to stop whoever these strategic people here that are serving themselves, wherever the squabbling's happening, whether it could be in family life, could be at work. It looks like most likely work. Um, it could just be in your love life as well. You're trying to find the right individual. Or maybe when you change this group of people that you're with and find these new individuals, you, you find love and you find fulfillment. Either way, Taurus, that's all I have. Please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. It does help with the algorithm. Sorry it's taking me long to do a video, but like I said, had to go to Seattle, teach a class, caught COVID. Still recovering from it. Still can't taste and smell correctly. Um, but either way, thank you for being here. And hope to see you here again.